Okay, so this is problem six from chapter five, and we have an op amp configured with a negative terminal um, connected to two series, two kilo ohm re resistor in series with a 150 millivolt um, voltage source. The positive terminal is grounded, and we have the negative terminal connected to 40, 40 kilo ohm resistor, and there is a um, a, a 20 kilo ohm resistor connected in T configuration with the 50 kilo ohm resistor, and um, there is a 25 kilo ohm resistor, um, and that's ground connected to ground. And we want to find I2, which is the um, the um, current across the 40 kilo ohm resistor, the voltage drop across the 20k um, current that's going back into the the um, op amp and V out. Okay, so we know that the op amp is ideal, which means that voltage at the negative terminal is equal to voltage at the positive terminal. And voltage at the positive terminal is grounded, so we know that Vn is zero volts. There's no current in there going into the negative or the positive terminals. So when we do our no voltage equations, we can ignore those um, the current in that branch. There's high enough res internal resistance so that current can get in. Okay, so um, a good place to start is um, simply start at the node voltage at V, the negative terminal, and see what that gives you. So NV at V at VN yields zero volts minus 150 millivolts um, over 2K plus zero volts minus V1 over 40K. And again, this current is zero. And that's, and luckily for us, we just end up with one equation and one unknown. Solve that equation and you should come up with V1 is equal to negative three volts, which is what we're looking for in part A. Now let's do no voltage at V1 and see because if we do no voltage at V1, we're going to get some kind of relationship with V, v out. And um, it might be enough information. It looks like it will be enough information. As you see, we have a number, 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 and one variable. So it will be one variable and one unknown, and we'll be able to solve for V out. So no voltage at, but. I want to mention, you couldn't solve for V out from doing no voltage here because this is a value, um, I naught is a value. We'd have one equation and two unknowns. It wouldn't have worked there, it would only work here. So NV of V1 is negative three volts minus zero over 40K plus negative three volts over 20K plus negative 3 volts minus V out over 50K equals 0. Solve that equation for V out and you will come up with V out is equal to negative 14.25 volts. That's negative 14.25 volts. Okay, so now we know what V out is. Negative 14.25 means we can solve for I2 and I0. So let's go, let's do I2 first. It's just going to be I2. I2 is defined to be positive that way, so we're going to go in the direction it's, it's being defined. So 0 minus negative 3 over 40K. Put that into your calculator and you should come up with I2 is equal to 75 microamps. And I naught is defined from here going in, but we don't know what this voltage drop here is. So, well, actually, we have to solve it by doing KCL there. So um, we're gonna go. We know what V naught is, so negative fourteen point twenty five minus 
V1, which is negative 3 volts, over 50K plus I0 plus negative 14.25 over 25K, that's equal to 0. We have one equation and one unknown. Solving for I0 will give you 795 microamps. Micro. And that's the end of that problem.